Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank the time out for thanking you for just being able to support me, being able to be a part of your missing puzzle or even adding towards a puzzle in your life that, you know, it can make sense to all the crazy stuff that we have to endure on a daily basis. It's truly a blessing. And um, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give high impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is uh, very informative to you and gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Um, or even a fellow empath are going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose, please go ahead and share. And also give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And um, today my music, my meditation music, uh, it's called Kundalini Awakening Meditation, Kundalini Activation, Deep Meditation, Binary Beats, and I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, knowing your hard work and tears isn't in vain. Your desires and dreams, whom your dreams and desires are heading to you full circle. It is. You know, we can go through so many situations and it can be frustrating at times trust me i know um you can really go through things and it's just like at times when it is just like really stressful to you you know you're steady going through things even though you know you're pushing out you know positivity um doing big things with yourself working hard and just feels like you're not getting anywhere you're not it, it, but you actually are you you just have to pay attention to the signs that are coming towards you um, especially like your numbers, your animal totems, things that catches your eye, you know, especially like with people going through recent spiritual awakening and just trying to still process everything that's going on. Cause that's a lot to have to deal with and going through all those different things, it can really mess you up. So you have to be able to know the reason. I know one of my cats came in y'all with one of Oh, sorry y'all. <laughs> she just distracted me. But just going through all those different things, it has a reason for happening the way it does. Um, being able to endure those things and knowing it happened for a reason. Um, knowing that better days are coming for you. You know, you have to be able to pay attention to the signs that's coming. You know, a lot of things that we still, we have to work on with ourselves. It's just like, are you still... You know, going over the painful situations, the pain, painful scenarios each and every day. There's sometimes mine come up and it, it gets in my, it makes me get my feelings at times. I don't know, I'm still working on that. Because it's just like a lot of things when you have endured for so long. Uh, hold on, pause for the cause, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. My, my cat, she has a tendency to want to walk all over everything. And I just did my laundry. And I'm like, no, you lay on your blanket. <laughs> I said, I just did this stuff. And you are not about to get on here and put all your cat fur on it. But, yeah, when we're going through different things, you know, we have to be able to take that breath, you know. Because it's just like we have to keep hearing, you know, God's not going to put anything on you that we can't handle. And a lot of times it feels overwhelming. Yes, it feels stressful. It can put you in a depressing state. Or even... uh you know, a state of anxiety is just up to you if you're really truly seeing what it, you know, really were the meaning of it that you had to go through. You had to put that understanding to know that, you know, our hard work is going to take us places because at the end of the day, when everything is all said and done, you're going to look at it just like, you know what, I, especially if you haven't gave up on yourself. You know, um, if you're still feeling everything, you know there's always change. It's never too late for you to go back. You know, just because you gave up doesn't mean that you got to give in. You know, you can just say, I gave up for that minute. You know, I'm back on track. Cause especially if you know there's a thing that you can't go a day without thinking about. You know that's meant for you. You know, that's why they keep allowing you to see certain things. Like, I get frustrated as I don't know what. Because I can sit up here 
and say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, that throughout the day. And it's just like darkness will bring something in to where it'll throw a monkey wrench in the program. You know, like there's times I really want to make videos. Like today, I had to take me a big break, like two hour break, you know, because it's like I can keep getting these headaches really bad. And it's just like, ugh, I can't deal with it. Like I just started doing my videos, not even about 20, 30 minutes ago. And I'm starting to get them again. And I just took medicine and laid down for like two and a half hours. And it was just like, oh, I can't take this. It's just too much. And it's frustrating me, you know, because it's just like so many things I'm getting. And it's like right here. It's a lot of pressure. And it just feels like it's cracking wide open. So it's just like all the information I get, you know, I'm just go ahead and let it do what it do. And then just probably take off for again tomorrow. Um, it just depends on how my mood is to get it done or if, you know, the universe is allowing me to do that. But, you know, I have to take time for self-care to take care of me. But it's just like knowing, stop doing that, um, knowing that, you know, you're going through things and it's, it has a positive reason for you allow, allowing things for you to go through. And knowing, you know, better days are coming for you. You just have to believe in yourself and believe in the universe. They have that for you, especially if you're getting a lot of you know, um, that girl, uh, especially if you're getting a lot of, you know, signs and visions that better days are coming, you know, but it's just going to be right when you least expect it. All the things, you know, when God feels like you're ready, you know, universe feels like you're ready. Those things will happen. You know, I used to get upset because it's like all the things that I went through, I said, this, you know, it's not fair. You know, these people are getting away with basically murder on doing what they did to me and, you know, not allowing me to see my family, but, you know, just want to make my life a living hell. I used to constantly go through that because I was angry at the world. You know, I shouldn't have to be that way. You know, life shouldn't be this way for me. You know, I have, I deserve to know my family. I want to know my family. But, you know, people always had naysays on what they felt like my happiness should be. You know based on what they wanted for me and they didn't want they wanted me to suffer you know my, my family really wanted me to suffer i mean there's times that you know my dad had took my trust fund and gave it up to my you know his wife <laughs> you know and said well i'm just trying to make sure she's taken care of and you know um and she'll make sure you're okay and i'm like look that's not her her duty you know you adopted me not her you know but there was just like I had to be able to step back and say, you know what, I don't need folks like that in my life, you know. And, you know, family used to tell me, but that's your family. If you're dealing with anybody that is a family member that is willing to make sure that you're suffering and want to make sure that their, you know, their significant other is better off other than worried about their child or their grandchildren, you don't need nobody like that in your life. <laughs> you don't. You don't. Because that's just, oh, stop. You're just constantly going through constantly going through different things like that is like it can be really aggravating it can be you know very upsetting going through enduring stuff like that and that's why I look at the things that I go through and I'm just like you know what everything happens for a reason you know uh you separated I separated myself from anybody that was that held a toxic relationship in my life there's people that try to break their neck to get back there because you know, they want to be in my life like that, but they were wanting to do the same things over again. And I'm just like, I'm, you know, first time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. I ain't about to let that happen. So I just had to, you know, if it means I'm going to be that lonely person, hey, I'm all right with that. You know, I'd rather be lonely than be around a lot of people that, you know, that are, you know, that those, those ones that are just, you know, low key hating or low key trying to make sure that you stay down, you know, because it's like I had people in my life that felt like, you know, they wanted me to do good, but as long as I didn't do better than them. And I'm that type of person, like, shoot, this is your journey. This is my journey. Why can't we all win together? I never want somebody to step here and not win. Or, yeah, you can win, but, it's, you know, have a limitation on it. Oh, I want you to be able to succeed, but it, I don't want you succeeding past me. You know, and that's some selfish stuff. I'm just like, why would I want people in my life like that? So it's just like everything has been an eye-opening experience for me. Being able to endure those things on so many levels to know that, you know, you're going to you're going to have that strength in places you never thought you were going to have it before.
before. You know more about yourself and more how the world turns than you ever did before. You know, that spiritual awakening don't waken you up at all different experiences. And that's why I feel about the spiritual awakening because it allows you, as soon as I said that my phone got bright as I don't know what, but going through that situation of, you know, spiritual awakening, it, it, it it's like, it's like a, a daggone experience you have never had. This is like an experience awakening because it allows you to see people what they truly are, people's true colors, people's motives, um, you know, the world's motives that's going through you. Because life, hard mistakes, when you fall down and you fall down hard, it allows you to be able to see things for what they truly are. And it might not be pretty, but at least you're learning from those situations. So it's just like, oh, you stop doing that. Um, going through all those different situations i'm sorry my cat is just really working my nerves right now and then she's distracting me as well but going through all those different things in life it allows you to be able to learn no matter how painful it is you know it's a blessing when i can be able to see other uh you know what was it motivational speakers that had said you know my life was hell you know i went through this and this and this and that but this this and this situation has allowed me to grow this allowed me to be able to help others that are going through you know same tragedies as well you know and you're supposed to, when you can feel that way and knowing that you're blessed enough to say you know what i did this i endured it i got the t-shirt and the decal i want to allow other people to get get through their things like i got through mine you know if i was able to get through mine you can be able to get through yours too you know, I'm not saying one, you know, somebody's experience is worse than the next one because it's all about what you endured. How did it, how did it make you feel? You know, what kind of frame of mind did it put you in? You have to look at all those different things and put it in perspective and to know that, you know, what, no matter what it is, if you know, if it's meant for you, you made it out of that, it has a meaning behind it. Because a lot, like I said in my last video, there's a lot of people that have endured stuff and it breaks my heart to know that they didn't make it out of there. You know, maybe went through a tragic situation and that you know you went through some kind of abuse and the people killed you or you know it got to that point where you wanted to offer yourself there's a lot of people that has endured that and you would never know you know i was watching a video the other day where this girl was full of life you can tell she just had love for everybody ended up committing suicide you know and the family would never detect that she was that type of person that endured so much sadness in her life because she did that behind closed doors. She didn't allow people to see that. And it was like, it took their family into a shock. You know, even though that's a that's a temporary fix for a permanent situation, you know, what was it? Permanent situation for a temporary fix or whatever it is. But, you know, going through that, you know, I've, I've been there, you know, so it allowed me to see what kind of hurt and what kind of pain I would have afflicted on people if I would have did that, you know. Um, because it's just like I used to get mad at God because I wanted my life to go away. And there's times that, you know, I, I did afflicted things to my, you know, inflict pain on myself to be able to die. And it was just like get so heartbroken. Not the fact is that, I'm, you know, I, I would cry because I was still alive. You know, I was like, I don't want to feel this anymore. This is just too much, you know. I said family didn't want me. And it a lot, made me think that, you know, it was my fault for the pain I inflicted. You know, I did you know, I had did put myself in certain situations. I made certain decisions, but you know, being loved by family and wasn't feeling that, you know, I had to hear like my my mom's ex husband's wife, her her children or her you know, nieces and nephews tell me about how supportive, you know, the person that adopted me gave me his last name was so supportive over them when I didn't get that at all they were like oh we call him Mr. Cheerleader they you know he you know come to recitals and you know this and this and that and I can feel myself crying inside because I said I haven't got that kind of support since I was like five or six years old you know and they were like well he never supported you like that I said who are you talking about and they were like oh you know Uncle Ch you know Uncle Cheerleader that was his nickname it's like he did this and I was just like wow <laughs> you know and I look right dead at him I said no nah, I didn't get that so I mean I'm glad you were able to get it and that was my dad you know for that moment you know and that, I mean that was just like if I had balls that I mean that was a real kick in the balls because I was just like wow you know I, you got support that I begged to get <laughs> and then it was just you know I had to just walk off and it, I lost all respect for him you know, and it's just like when I can look at him now, it's like so much better without you, you know, 
they asked to be in my life. I said, shoot, it ain't been in your life so, for like four years. The rest of my life is not going to make move mountains for me with you being in it or with you not. I'd rather for you not to be because, I mean, what, are you, what use are you there for? <laughs> really, it is. It's just like, you know, looking at a statue, like, you know, you ain't going to serve a purpose to me. You know, so it was just like all the different things I endured, I appreciate that I went through. So just know that all the things that you're working towards, the blood, sweat, and tears, the anguish, everything you, you know, have placed upon yourself to feel like, you know, the world's not listening. God has put me on mute. He didn't hear me. He did. He heard you perfectly well. But those are the reasons why you're enduring these things. Like I said before, when you ask for faith, they will put you in certain situations where you have to deal with faith and faith enough alone. When you ask for patience, they will make you it put yourself in a position where you have no choice but to be patient. So all these things that you're asking for, they put you in situations for you to be able to get those things. And that's where you have to learn from. There's a lesson of life in those situations you have. But, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with this content in this video. I'm trying to make it long, but you know, the message, message is, is what the message is. But I will give a post notification shout out to um, Hayoka King. Um, let me see who else. Uh, Lisa Williams and Linda. Much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. And share and thumbs up. I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.